I bought from PC World Truro this which makes wild claims that it can do what it does they claim to be the world's fastest video editor but often when I use power director of any version I am waiting and waiting for Windows wheel to stop spinning while it's struggling to achieve whatever task it is now they are based in Taiwan they ain't under English law and therefore they think they can make whatever claim they want now this one I bought from PC World it cost me £44 I thought who I can upgrade from from this one just to discover that the content inside are just a book and this but when I installed this version on a previous computer I got messages saying I have to download and pay more money after I've already paid £44 for this from PC World and so called upgrade to receive the features on here so what is it claiming blazing speed second generation true velocity recording engine lets you create videos and to burn this faster than ever well I never got to use this one but on the other hand that is untrue whenever I use power director I'm waiting forever well you do something and nothing works it says what tools are available you only get them if you pay them extra money that's if you do get them they use the word award winning where did they win the award many companies claim to be award winning but they never say where they won that award super speed with OpenGL power director harnesses GPU power to greatly improve editing and rendering speed well I've never been able to use this one but when I've used Power Director 7 and Power Director 12 it certainly ain't the case okay now I've moved to power director 12 since then which done a little bit more than power director 7 but still they want you to pay for a download and upgrade 
to use it, which is ridiculous. Uh, especially when you actually bought something. I was now this one here is using Power Director 12 on this one, but. Uh, On that other computer, my small one, I put put it on there as well. But I lost the installation disk, and I went on to to purchase another. But even though that says Power Director 12, it ain't the same version as the one on my desktop computer. And another problem I have with Power Director is that if you want to suppose I make an MPEG-2 video on here or any finished video project that's either um, MPEG-2 or whatever even AV, not AV, um, or what do you call it, MPEG-4. They won't let you do it on another version of PowerDirector because they will demand that you pay for an upgrade and a further download. They will do that. Now, um, I think this is very, very bad that they do that. The only f way I'm able to use my old files I'm recorded on another version of PowerDirector is to make a copy in AVI and then I can copy onto my other computer and then put it into the format I want. But uh, there's another thing that annoys me because I have external hard drives. I pay a lot of money for these external hard drives because I do not want my C drive to get filled up to capacity and then I'm in trouble. But these people on PowerDirector, even though I say exactly where I want to save the file they keep making copies of everything that I've made on here as um, where is it now they want to make it let me show you one I bought they keep making copies on the drive C now I recently bought this from eBay that's a load of crap unfortunately because some of the files won't copy onto here but even so the point I'm making is that suppose this was okay and I instruct Power Director to copy them to here they keep making copies of everything I've got on my computer that I do on here and I do not want them to do it and it's very very damned annoying now if I get a part where I start recording and there's a delay in the camera sending a picture from here to there so when I get to the edit I cut that part out guess what they do at Power Director that what they do is they make a copy of a blank piece of videotape or if there's a, a green part at the beginning or blue part they make a copy of that if I decide I'm going to get rid of bits of my thing because they look very bad on it they keep making copies of every single part of my that I've rejected on here and I don't like what they're doing 
even things that I've deleted, they would do that. And they have uh, sample pictures in here. Now I've removed all the sample pictures, I don't like, do no like them. But they're making copies of them on my hard drive and treating it like a damn dustbin. So I'm going to move over now. I'm going to show you they've copied at least a thousand or more. They've probably done more since they've copied at least a thousand or more. What they've done, I'm going to go through all the things that I don't do no want and I want to get rid of. But they've made copies of them and I, I'm very angry with them. So before I delete the lot, I'm going to show you what they've copied on here, which I did no want them to do it. And it's like they're actually making a frame by frame videos copies. Now if I make a, what do you call it, screen capture photo of one of my videos, I save it where I want to save it, on Drive X for instance, but they make a copy and put it on Drive C, as if it's a dustbin. If I say I want to save mine in Drive X for instance, that's where I want to save them. Not have my things treated like a blinking dustbin.